Even today, there are certainly countries we're all familiar with where curiosity is so threatening to the government, to the power structure, that if you're too curious, they put you right in jail. But try being curious, try being genuinely curious, even in a sixth grade history class or an eighth grade science class. Even in school, curiosity is often considered, at the very least, inconvenient, if not disruptive. It's very hard for us in North America to get ready for all of our very important standardized tests if we have to stop and answer your actual questions about the topic at hand. The people in charge realize something that we often don't, and that is the power of curiosity. The ability to ask questions, I think, involves two really important things. First is the freedom to go chase down the answers to those questions. And second is the ability to challenge authority, the ability to say, why is your answer the right answer instead of my answer? Or even more dangerous, why are you in charge instead of me? Curiosity is a kind of freedom, and it's also a source of freedom. Here's what I think is so exciting about curiosity and, and, a, and a quality that I hadn't actually thought about until I started talking to Brian and to researchers about curiosity. And this is, I think, what makes curiosity so different from creativity and leadership and intelligence. You don't have to be Thomas Edison or Steve Jobs or Steven Spielberg to be curious. We all know people who are genuinely and innately creative we all know people who are dynamic and inspiring leaders. Teaching those qualities is a big hurdle. I don't actually know that many people who are genuinely creative who were taught to be creative. Curiosity, though, works the same for all of us. And I think if you're not Steven Spielberg, if you're not Steve Jobs, if you're not Thomas Edison, and I personally am not, curiosity is really the path to inspiration. It's the creative spark. If you don't happen to be Thomas Edison or Steven Spielberg, you can still ask questions. You can ask questions until something interesting happens. The most important thing is not just to ask the questions, but to listen to the answers. 